All right, quick case study. This week we delivered a wheelchair, a quickie nitrum for a client who does walk at the moment but just needs a wheelchair for community access. So we went with a cost effective option, a quickie nitrum. The client is currently in a folding wheelchair. We've upgraded it to a rigid for the use of the power assist device and to be a bit lighter. The power assist we used was a smart drive with the speed dial, which means when you turn that little knob just right there, this little motor here at the back pushes the chair straight and the user just needs to control the chair. So we see T over here pushing the wheelchair um, without a power assist device. And as you can see, although it's lighter than a current chair, it is still hard to go up the ramp. And so when we use the power assist, we just turn the dial, gives a bit of speed. T just needs to control the direction and then turn it off when we get to the top and doing something like a small ramp is much easier. And up next, we have the Spinergy Spox wheels, which look great, but are also really strong and make it easier for a carer to put their fingers in between the spokes to take the wheels off. And then we have the extended mount push to lock brake, which is ideal for clients with upper limb weakness, but also people that are using solid tires because it's harder to put the brakes on when you've got a solid tire. And so the extended mount just makes that a little bit easier. And to prevent a posterior pelvic tilt, we use the padded hip belt. And then given we've gone on upholstery backrest, rather than using a PSIS block, we actually just tensioned off the straps here and here to really push the pelvis forward into a more neutral position. Oh, and we've also got anti tippers, which is a safe bet to use when you're using a new chair or a new power assist device, but you can easily take them off or flip them upside down when you don't need them. And then we come to the front and there's a calf strap, which is often used to stop people's legs from going back. But in this case, we used it to stop her legs from going forward because every time she pushed, her quads would extend and that would stop that. And then that's the chair. We also had armrests on there for postural stability, which I wouldn't usually do on an active chair, but given she's often pushed or only pushes short distances and was more comfortable with armrests, we've gone armrests in this case. Let me know what you think. And if you have any questions or if you just think the color is amazing on this chair, let me know. Thanks guys. Till next time.